this is me being stupid and then realizing that I didn't have my mic on. I guess you wonder where I've been. I'm so happy I remembered to turn on my mic because I would have literally cried myself to sleep. On this whole story time, like a week ago and I forgot to turn on my mic and it was the worst day of my life. But peep the Haley fan merch, I love her. Also, I'm aware I look like trash. I on this beanie because my hair looks like trash, as it usually does ever since I cut it. But if you want to cut your hair, don't because it was a mistake. Today, I wanted to do the story time that everybody has been asking for that I talked a little bit about like a few months ago when it actually happened. I do this kind of like a few months after so that because it's all pretty much died down. I haven't talked to any of these girls and I'm doing good. I hope they're doing good. So I thought that I would just, you know, spill the beans. And I'm not bringing this up to start drama again, to just bring it all back up because that's not my intention. When this was all happening, it was literally like one of the worst times of my life. It's just super stressful and not needed, so I would rather it not come back up again. But, oh, but you gotta get in that content. This is just something you've been asking for, and also my last story time did really good. It's at like 3 mil, so go watch it. And I want to just say real quick that this is my opinion. I know that everybody's gonna feel the need to put their opinion in the comments. Just don't. This is my, my opinion. This is how I felt the whole time when I was in this team. If any of my team members or coaches or anybody's watching this, you can make your own YouTube video about how you felt, but this is how I felt. My experience and my opinion is valid, so I'm gonna be making a video on it. If you're mad, contact my mother. Okay, so now that we disclaimed everything, let's get into the story. The story time is basically why I quit my soccer team, why um, this was like the worst experience of my life on a team. Also, while I'm telling the story, you'll probably hear me like saying like, oh, I hated my team, this team was trash, blah, 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 blah. Take into account that I only disliked like five or six of the girls. The rest of the girls, they were super cool, they were super nice. I don't wanna like generalize the team and just call them all like fake, call them all rude and stuff because they really weren't. A lot of the girls were super sweet and I wish that I became friends with them, but not like in this team because <laughs> These five people like ruined the whole experience for me Like every time I think about my soccer experience I like hate it just because of those five girls. So the rest of you guys Loved you. You were a great teammate. Okay, so we're gonna start in November because that's when tryouts was we had like preconditioning I didn't really go but like the tryouts was fine. I didn't really know any of these girls until I was actually on the team with them. So during my whole soccer experience, I only had one friend, and I'm not going to name her just in case she doesn't want to be named. We're going to call her A. Yeah. So A I was friends with in junior high. She's like in club and everything, so she's like really good at soccer, and I was not really good at soccer. You know, a beginner, so... So the whole soccer time, I pretty much only had her as a friend. She was friends with like everyone on the team because she's a really friendly and like outgoing person. I'm outgoing too, but like to an extent. Whatever, it was tryouts. I didn't originally make the JV. Well, I didn't. Ooh. Basically, I ended up being on the final list for JV and I was on the JV soccer team. <laughs> there was a series of events that happened in this whole like three or four months of soccer season. <gasps> oh my God. <sighs> okay, so I'm just gonna say like the whole time I was on the soccer team I felt so like left out really like misplaced I felt left out. I felt like I just really didn't belong in there I always got a bad feeling whenever I would go to practice games like it just really felt like that It was like a it was a bad vibe bad energy I think that's why I didn't really like going to practices and games because I love soccer like I've always loved soccer I joined this team. It was just it wasn't the move whenever you're feeling bad about something Just don't do it like I love soccer. That's truly my sport I'm low-key not that good at it, but it's So as the season started, it was like preseason or whatever, so basically it wasn't league games, it was just kind of games that don't really count, I think. And then we had our two tournaments. Wait, did we have them? Kinda got my timeline mixed up, so let me just take a look. Hmm. If you're wondering what my position was, I know you don't care, but I was the center defensive middle. CDM. There was two CDMs. Both of us pretty much played like half of the game. So I would play the first half and she would play the second or she would play the first and I would play the second. So we kind of got pretty like equal time. It was really cool. I actually really liked Niked. I actually really liked her. She was like one of my favorite people on the team because she was so nice. Let's get into the first player that I started getting into it with. So this girl went to my junior high, but she's like a year older than me because I was on a team with mostly sophomores and then it was like me and like three other freshmen. Yeah, I never really talked to her until I was in that team and I never really associated with her. You could just tell off the bat she was really up the coaches. Yeah, she was like the team captain or whatever, but in no way was she a team captain. She really didn't act like it. In my opinion, as a team captain, you're supposed to uplift other players. You're supposed to basically lead the team, be positive, all that. 
She was not that. She would constantly yell at us and practice his games. It made me so hard to want to come to games and practices. I hated being around there just because of her. I'm sorry, but the way she was talking to me, like specifically me, like even my friend on the team, she would tell me like, girl, why is she yelling at you like that? And I would be like, right. Always just throwing negativity in the air. She would always like threaten to kick me off the team. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were the coach. Oh. It got to the point where I just didn't care what she said anymore. She was not my mom. She was not the coach. She was just being plain rude. I knew she didn't like me. You could tell. It was vivid. Honestly, I wasn't there to make friends. I was there to play soccer, so... Moving on. It was like the first conflict I had. Like, I just really didn't like her. And she was such a snitch. Uh. He made it a really bad experience for me. At that point, that was probably like December. Literally the first month of like being on that team. Another thing that really got on my nerves was that the coach, like he just didn't really know how to handle these type of situations. He was very immature. I think he was really unprofessional as a coach, as someone. Never mind. You could tell he had favorites on the team. Like, you could just tell it was very evident that he, I was not one of his favorites. Also, I didn't kiss so there's a difference, you know? So in the preseason, like I said, all the games were pretty much fine. I don't remember anything happening except like I didn't like going to my practices and stuff, but that wasn't really a problem. We're gonna go to our first tournament. We had two tournaments. So in the first tournament, whatever, we went to the school. We had like three, two or three games. I don't remember. By this time, like all my YouTube people or whatever, like my subscribers, they knew that I was in soccer. They kept asking me like a bunch of soccer vlogs. Like they wanted me to show them a day in my life in soccer. So I was like, okay, bet. When the first tournament came around, I wanted to vlog it. Bad mistake. Uh, video is private now, but basically in that video I was just vlogging everything. And in that tournament, we kind of choked. I think we lost like two out of three of the games. We only won like one game. I remember me and my friend were talking about something and I said something about bench warmers and like our team is bench warmers. I, I don't remember what I said, honestly. I don't remember what I said. Honestly, I know how it could have been offensive. I'll put in the clip here. We're gonna get stomped in my liberty. I'm so scared. The first game we lost to... We lost 6 1 we Highland. And then we just played a game at 2 1 30. And we lost 3 1. So basically, we're ass. Um, so I'm gonna come in here and kind of explain myself because I know how you guys are. You guys love to assume things. So let me just clear it up. If you watch my videos, you know my sense of humor. You know that I call everything trash. Like, it's just obviously in the clips, I was saying, like, oh, we lost this game. We lost this game. Like, 3 1, 6 1. Like, were ass. I'm literally calling myself trash. So I don't know why it was such a big deal. Like obviously we're not good if we lost six to one. Did y'all want me to give you a cookie? Like I don't even know, but my team took it the whole wrong way, as they do. I get why they could have taken it the wrong way, but they just immediately started like disliking me, talking about me, blah 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 blah. And at that point I only disliked the captain girl, whatever player. I was like cool with everybody else, as I thought. So whatever, my team sees it and they all like make a big deal out of it. I'm pretty sure they all like immediately stopped liking me, which I don't remember if my coach like talked to me about it. I don't remember what happened, but that's what happened in the first tournament. So I remember our tournaments were like back to back. So we had one tournament and then our other tournament was like a week later. So in our second tournament, it was all good. That was the tournament I had with Renato. So like I pretty much hung out with him the whole time until we had another game and like started warming up and all that. And I specifically remember like we finished playing a game and I was walking back to like where all the team was. Like they were all like sitting by this tree. I was walking back and one of our goalies, she's like the main goalie or whatever. She's like a junior on a JV team. She walks up to me with like full attitude. Mind you, I did not have a problem with her. I thought we were cool, but apparently we weren't. She came at me with the ugliest attitude and I was like, oh. We both just start arguing like at that moment because I do not let nobody talk to me like how my mom talks to me. Because the only person that can talk to me like that is my mom. Basically, she comes at me not even asking me. Not you need to stop talking shit about your team. You need to stop being rude to your team. They're all saying that you're talking a bunch of shit about them. At that moment, I was like, ooh. I was real life confused. I was like, wait, who? Who's talking about who? Cause I'm, I'm not comprehending. She was saying like a bunch of the girls on the team don't like you cause you keep talking about them. I don't even remember exactly what she said, but she was basically coming at me in that, that standard, you know? Obviously I'm gonna get offended and I'm gonna defend myself because I was not talking about them. And if I was, why would I put it on the public, on my YouTube channel? That is, I'm not that dumb. 
She comes at me, tries to press me. So then like she just keeps talking to me. So then I just walk away. I don't remember what I did. Went to my team and started grabbing all my stuff. And then I went to go sit at like the little snack bar thing because there was a snack bar there. I went to go sit there and I was texting my boyfriend, you know, going off as I should. I was texting my mom and then I call her and then like she gets really emotional really fast. So like whenever my mom cries, I cry. And honestly, I felt like crying. Not because I was sad, but because whenever I get really angered and I just want to like literally have anger issues. Like I'm sorry, my temper, I have a really bad temper. Do not get on my bad side, basically. And like I started crying, but you know, I was like turning my head so that like my teammates didn't see me because that's low-key embarrassing. Or whatever, I'm pretty sure my whole team like saw me and were like talking about it and my coach was probably there talking about it too because he's just that type of coach. <laughs> and like 10 minutes after, my coach comes up to me and he's like, hey, go back to the team. I talked to the team. It's a whole bunch of BS that I knew wasn't true because my friend told me that it wasn't true. So he was like trying to make me feel better or whatever. He was telling me he was going to talk to the goalie who came up to me and that he was going to tell her to stop, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I forgot to leave out a key element. When that goalie was trying to talk to me, she was like threatening to get me kicked off the team. Make sure you're kicked off this team if you keep acting like this, blah, blah, blah. Again, who are you? At that point, I was like, girl, you're full of Bye. He comes up to me and tries making me like go back to the team and like talk to my team because we all need to understand each other. No. Then he literally snitches on me to my mom and my mom calls me and forces me to go over there. So I'm over here with puffy eyes like I just cried up a river. And I had to go over there and everybody was looking at me and asking me if I was okay. It's just really awkward because I hate when people ask that. Like, no, I'm not okay. <sighs> Honestly, but it was really sweet of them for caring. I think, yeah. Nothing else happened that tournament. I just realized that I really don't like a lot of people on my team. So now we're going to move on to the last game before winter break. After winter break was going to be our actual league games, like the games that actually mattered. Okay, so this was a home game and my boyfriend actually came to that game because me and him are both on the soccer team. We usually have games on the same days. So I'm home one game and then he's away. Then when I'm away, he's home. So we could never really go to each other's games because it was always like we were different places, you know. This game was very special because he was actually able to come and I was so happy, you know. My whole family came. Usually my whole family doesn't come to my games. It'll either be like my mom and my sisters or my dad and my my sister so like everybody was here it was a good game and like the actual league game started my coach or not even my coach the captain she basically made this new rule that if you don't go to practice then you're not gonna get any play time or you'll get like very little play time so you have an excuse like a valid excuse so around this time we had science fair and this was a big deal because I hate science fair. Last time I did science fair, it was in like fifth grade, but Loki forgot how to do a science fair. I texted my coach. I'll leave it on the screen. It's like, hey, I can't make practice because I have to work on my science fair. He didn't reply. This, this is very, a very key element. Because like I said, one of my friends is on my team. I've been friends with her for a while and I would always see her in passing periods. And whenever I'd see her, I'd be like, hey, blah, blah, blah. Like, how you doing? And around this time, like I would always pass by her and she'd be on the phone and I'd be like, who are you talking to? And she'd be like, coach. And I'd be like, Keep in mind, she was one of the favorites, so I get why she was having, like, full-blown conversations with the coach, like, in the middle of school. Like, he probably wouldn't be doing that with anybody else, right? Because he couldn't answer one of my texts, but he could have full-on conversa- Oh. So that was a little fishy to me. Text him with a valid excuse. Because if you're in, like, high school sports, you know how they stress, like, if you don't have good grades and you can't be on the team, school comes first, education comes first. When I tell you that I need to work on my education, you don't want to reply, though. Whatever. I'm like getting heated just thinking about this because this gets me so mad. That was the day before practice. I always go to my practices even though it's like the worst time of the day. Like I dread going to practice but I still do it because you know team player and all. It was like the one day I didn't go to practice right? The next day we had a game whatever I went to the game because I thought that he saw my text. So like I said in the beginning me and the other girl play like usually one half. I play one half she'll play one half. It always went like that in every single game so you would understand while well, I was so like this game you know whatever we were warming up and then the game started the other girl played the first half and then i was like you know getting all ready getting my little cleats on getting my little shin guards on like waiting to be put in i want to say it was like 10 minutes after the second half and then my family starts calling me and they're like why isn't he putting you in like even they know that he always puts me in like either the first half or the second half why isn't he putting you in like are you not playing in this game was it because you didn't go to practice yesterday and i realized like he's probably not going to put me in because i didn't go to practice yesterday even though i had an excuse and i texted him it would have been different if i didn't text him and then told him at the game like whatever I go back to the bench because they're like he might put you in right now then I go back to the bench and puts another girl in for my spot after like half of the second quarter it's already been like three quarters of the game and I still haven't went in so I was a little bit outraged like then I asked the coach and I'm like are you gonna put me in like I didn't want to be rude but I was just like 
I'm waiting. I'm really usually not annoying like that, but at this game, I was kind of pressed. I was like, oh. And then my family calls me again, and I go up to them, and they're like, all right, is he gonna put you in the game? I'm gonna talk to him after the game, because my mom's so overprotective, and she's such, just like that, you know? She's very hardcore on, like, how I feel, and, like, She's a great mother, and that's all I have to say. Basically, everyone was like, are you gonna go in the game? Like, why are we wasting our time if you're not gonna go in the game? And I was like, you're right. I'm done, like, I thought I wasn't even gonna play in the game, so I, like, go up the stairs, and, like, I go up to my family, and they're like, what are you doing? At this point, I think there was, like, 15 minutes left. Like, it really wasn't a point. Like, yeah, I wanted to play, but, like, my mood was already kind of burnt. I was kind of pressed. My family tells me to go back down, so I go back down, and I'm like, Renato, come with me, because I'm tired of these hoes. Because, like, he's my boyfriend my support system. This is a very important thing to remember. After warming up or whatever, we were all sitting on this bench and I noticed this boy, he had like, he was like a white boy with a do-rag on. It was like sitting at the end of the bench, all the girls were like laughing with him, flirting with him, I don't really care, but they were all up on him. I was like, um, is he supposed to be here though? They really care about it, but like, I just, this is something to remember. He was on there sitting at the end of the bench talking to all the girls for like, three quarters of the game. So when I go back down and I bring my boyfriend, I sit on the bench and Renato doesn't even have time to fully sit on the bench when everybody, like if I'm talking four or five girls come and start yelling at him, like literally getting in my face for him sitting on the bench. They were full on yelling, like I'm pretty sure the people on the other side sitting on the bleachers could hear it. My boyfriend is a really calm person, he's super calm, that's what I love about him. Like, always calming me down, like he's a super chill person, he doesn't have a temper like how I do. When they were yelling at him, he was like, damn chill, like he was like actually like... Like when I tell you that this was so unnecessary and the coach did not even say anything, I'm pretty sure the coach wasn't even tripping that he was gonna sit on the bench. That's when I was thinking, wasn't that boy just sitting on... Okay, then Renato goes back up. I'm so mad like I'm sitting there ready to fight somebody like I was so pressed This is my first year playing soccer I didn't know he wasn't allowed to be on the bench because that other boy was clearly sitting on the bench So why is it any different because it's my boyfriend and because they don't like me like even my sister sitting on the bleachers Like was about to come down and fight one of them after that game I was so mad I don't even remember if like I went in the group huddle or whatever I think that I just like went to the corner because I was so on. I feel like my whole team getting a huddle or whatever like without my coach I don't know what he was doing but my whole team was like getting in a little huddle and then later my friend was like oh they were talking about you and I was like of course they were then like I go to the corner with my boyfriend and my mom and my dad are like arguing with my coach saying like did you not just see all your teammates yell at my daughter and he was acting dumb acting like he didn't see it acting like he didn't hear it that day I really wanted to quit but it was like when the season like barely started so I still wanted to be in it but I was just so, so I stayed in the team like a stupid person but moving on but that night I texted my team on the group chat because I knew they were talking about me so you know I had to confront them I don't know why I forgot this in the story but I have like text messages because I screenshotted them okay I'm gonna like move to this side so you guys can see in the group chat and I was like if any of y'all have something to say about me then let me know and the lovely captain of course she was the one that replied she was one of the girls that was yelling at me and my boyfriend to get off the bench of course she replied and she said, this is a team. You don't sit in the stands with your family and be with your boyfriend while we have a game. You should be a part of this team and be down there with us. And I reply and I'm like, when my mom calls me, I'm gonna go, lol. It's not like I was playing and I like how I'm the only person y'all are always yelling at. Who's that white boy with a do-rag on? Did anybody get yelled at when he was on the bench? LMAO. And another girl replied and said, coach told him to get off the field. After like three quarters of the game, like does it even matter anymore? That's what I texted my group chat and then that night I was so mad, like I was really gonna quit that night. Then I texted my coach again, even though he didn't even reply to my last message. I texted him and I said, next time you don't play me, pl play me? I said, next time you don't play me, let me know. I had a reason to not go to that practice and I texted you that. And please get on your stuck up players to stop yelling at me because I'm always the one they always yell at for no reason. Blank, she's another player. She wasn't really a player. She was like the team manager, even though she didn't do it for the team. Blank is trying to threaten me to get kicked off the team, so yeah, please get on them. I forgot to say this, but one of the girls were trying to threaten to kick me off the team because my boyfriend sat on the bench. Yeah, next. Whatever, winter break goes by. It was like a full two weeks of pure happiness and joy because I didn't have to be involved in soccer. So then we come back to school. I think we play like a few games and then this really big important game was coming up. I really wanted to play in this game. This was like a game that me and my sister were looking forward to. Okay, so I'm back. It's been a couple of days. Um, I didn't finish the story time like three days. I don't remember the day I filmed it, but I lashed in my eye and it really hurts. I didn't finish filming it because I was kind of pressed and I just didn't want to film. Now I'm going to finish the story time because I want to start editing it. 
So I was looking over the footage and I forgot this tiny little detail, which isn't tiny, but okay, so when I was talking about my tournaments or whatever that was still in preseason, like before winter break, I like being so far. When I was talking about that, basically we had that tournament and then the next day we had another tournament, but it wasn't really a tournament, we just had one game and it was really early in the morning on a Saturday, I think. Basically it was whatever, I played my half of the game. This is where another new player comes in. So we're gonna call her Diana. Diana was obviously like, it was very, very clear that she was one of the favorites on the team. Honestly, I'm not gonna be rude, but we had the same skill level. I always see her like her dad going to games and like her dad always talking to the coaches and stuff, like even varsity coach. So I knew she was a favorite because of her dad, like, you know, the link. Yeah, like obviously she got better treatment, all that. Like you guys should know how my team is and like the whole environment by now. It was very toxic. <laughs> Or at least that's how I felt it was. If you've ever been in like a high school team or just a team in general, you know that sometimes you argue with people, sometimes you get mad. Like it just, it happens. I'm a teenager, I have anger issues. It's not that big of a deal. Whatever, we were playing this team right and I got the ball and I kicked it somewhere and like I messed up because everybody messes up. Like I'm not perfect. And I really don't care that much to be honest. Whatever, like I think I kicked it out or something like on accident because I, like I said, I'm really not that good, but. Last time I tried it out. Whatever, I messed up and the girl behind me, Diana, she, like says something smart and I'll I don't remember exactly what she said, but I remember it hella offended me and that's why like I snapped back at her Because usually I kind of just take it like I take the heat because it's not that big of a deal to be fighting over And plus I know she's a favorite. I know that she's gonna be treated better than me I Remember she said something and I turned back and I was like I was trying to like critique me on like my soccer, but like she was like doing it in a really rude way I'm all for like oh like maybe pass it here next time or whatever, but no she was being rude about it And then I looked back at her and I think I said I either said shut up or I said shut the f up I probably said the second one, but obviously, obviously I do take blame for that because I shouldn't have said that. I know that it was going to start beef, start drama, whatever. I didn't think that much of it. We didn't have beef. It was just like a little argument because that's what I saw it as. But me and her were on the side of the field where my team was, like where the coach, like all the bench warmers, all them were at. So we were on that side. So when I said that, everybody was like, whoa, like made it acting like I killed somebody. Then they took me out of the game and nothing really happened then. Everybody was saying like, oh, what was that about? And I was like... Nothing. Like I said, that was on a Saturday. So then like Sunday goes by and then Monday we had a game against another high school that obviously, like I said, I really wanted to play. You know, I was already got my little uniform in my backpack. It was all good. In my first period, which is math, algebra? It's okay. Yeah, you get it. In my first period, the varsity coach, not my coach, the varsity coach, he like calls me out and I go into this little hallway that's like intersecting classes, pulls me out and he's basically saying like, Oh, I don't think you can play in this game because Diana's mom called the school this morning and said that you were harassing her. When he told me that, I was literally shooketh. I was like, I just remember him telling me that and I was like, who? Who's harassing who? Because you got the wrong Desiree. He tells me that like Diana's mom was saying I was harassing her. She was going to come to the school that morning to show proof that I was harassing her so I could get kicked off the team, whatever. Then I was like, okay, bet. I want to see the proof where I was harassing your daughter because I don't remember. So I don't know if I explained this, but like I said, me and her used to have beef in the past for literally like a week. It was nothing like that. After that, I had blocked her on everything because I, I don't like toxic people. But like there was really no way there could have been proof because proof is like a screenshot. What is she gonna screenshot? I'm not posting about her or anything, so like I was really, I really wanted to see the proof. I wanted to see them make themselves look dumb. Then he tells me that he's actually being really nice about it. Like he was just like, oh, well, let me talk to everybody. Let me see if you can still play in the game or not. And I was like, I'm gonna play in this game, period. So then I did what I had to do. I snitched. I texted my mom and I was like, guess what the coach just told me. And then my mom hopped in her beamer and came to my school. You know how my mom be? She was pressing everybody. She was saying like, where's the proof? It's that big of a deal. Then she should have came with the proof now. Like she was just pressing everybody, making everybody look dumb as she should. But, you know, I'm just standing there, let my mom do her thing. And basically they never came with proof and I got to play in the game. <laughs> so don't ever try to mess with me and my mother. After that, you can tell, like, me and my team, there was, like, tension between us. Because I know she was going around telling everybody that I harassed her, telling everybody, like, what happened or whatever. And I just know that everybody knew about it. So, at that point, you could tell, like, it was kind of just me and then, like, the whole team. Like, I can tell there was, like... Whatever, that was the only problem I had with this girl, Diana. Nothing else happened. So, now we're going to move on to the last little semi-story, which is the reason why I quit, like... Mostly the reason why I quit, but it was like along with all these other things that have been happening. So now we're going to talk about another player because this team is just such a wonderful experience. This player, we're going to call her Liliana. 
first got on the JV team and I saw Liliana. She's a freshman and she didn't go to my junior high, so I didn't know who she was at all. Right when I met Liliana, I knew she was kind of stuck up. She just wasn't someone I wanted to be friends with, and that's not really in a rude way because everybody has their like preference of a friend, but she just wasn't someone I wanted to be friends with. I'm not gonna start beef with her, but I just didn't want to be friends. Like, simple as that. Obviously, that was just like a first impression. I'm not gonna say like, oh, she's a bad person because I thought she was a bad person. Um, so this girl has an older sister and she's a sophomore. We're freshmen and she's a sophomore. Her sister is on varsity. I think she was on varsity since she was a freshman. Liliana and then her sister's on varsity. Liliana's on JV on my team. And Liliana is friends with Diana, the girl I was just talking about. So, you know, like I said, like I felt like kind of like disconnected from my team, even though I was never really connected. Since they were like really close friends, I figured that the other girl didn't like me either because like they were really close friends. It was whatever, like she would be hella aggressive at practice. Like you can tell she kind of had something against me. Like she would be aggressive. She would always have like an attitude towards me. She would always like roll her eyes at me. And I was like, besides any of those like little things we've never had, like, like beef beef. It was also like hella a favorite. I'm kind of thinking it was because she was friends with Diana and her sister was on varsity. So like, so like all the coaches liked her and stuff. Honestly, she's actually a really good player. But Diana and Liliana, they're both defenders. So they're always like behind me and I'm in front of them because I'm a mid obviously. So like I'm always kind of like having to work with them. I'm always having to like we're connected. So whatever, we're in the game and I'm playing right. And like I said, they're all defenders. The captain is a defender, the girl that I first talked about. Um, Diana's a defender and Liliana's a defender. So moral of the story, defenders are rude. I like how they're all defenders too. Hmm. Kind of interesting. So we were playing, like I said, like I don't really care for like little arguments in the game because like everybody's competitive, everybody wants to get the ball, like it's just kind of like in the moment type of arguments, you know? So I don't really trip over them. I like consider it beef whenever like I argue with someone because it's just about the game. Like we're not arguing over real life situations. Okay, so this is the field and we were kind of over here and like this is the bleachers and my mom and my sister were at that game. My team and like my coach and everybody were on this side. So they were like on the other side of the field. Somebody sends the ball my way and I thought it was to me. Obviously Obviously because the girl behind me, um, what did I name her? Liliana didn't call it so obviously I got it because I thought it was coming towards me. So then I move it and I pass it to the left wing because that's what we're taught to do. And Liliana behind me like yells at me and she's like that was mine and then I just reply back and I'm like I don't care because I don't care. <laughs> and the captain, my favorite player out of all of them, was like on the very outside and she said something like watch your mouth Desiree and like she said that I was like you are not nobody's mother. She says that and I'm like girl shut up. I don't remember what I said but I was just so tired of her sh at that moment and she said something like make me and at that point I was getting ready to snitch I was about to go off that field and be like guess what your captain just told me I was about to snitch her out he wouldn't care obviously because he only cares about his favorite players he tells me that and then I'm all heated she's all heated like everybody's all heated on the field I think we were losing in that game too so after that little argument I'm pretty sure somebody told the coach or like he heard or whatever so he took me off the game I don't know why every time like something happens he takes me off the game even though we're already losing the defenders obviously aren't doing anything go off the game I'm so heated like I'm so mad that he took me out the game because of something that they started everybody's asking like are you okay what happened I'm like girl you don't care but when he took me out I think there was only like six or seven minutes left so after the game ends we like clap hands with like the other team and I'm about to go get my stuff so that I can go to my mom because I'm tired of this team I wanted to quit so on my way to go and get my stuff Liliana and her older sister who's on varsity who's a sophomore both come up to me and they're like in my face and they're like you called my sister a first of all I know damn well I did not call her a I know exactly what I said. I know exactly what I heard. She was trying to put words in my mouth. I know how it be. And Liliana gets on my face and she's like, why are you lying? You know what you said, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna get in my face and I was like about to argue with them, but I was like, nah. She obviously couldn't come up to me herself, so let me go and get my sister. So I just like push them out the way. I go and get my stuff and then I go get my sister and I tell her like, oh, these girls are trying to punk me. Me and my sister are coming. Liliana is nowhere to be seen. She was just in my face, but where is she now? Nowhere. So like I said, it was like the heat of the moment. I was so mad. If I could redo this day, then I wouldn't have texted her, but I texted her. And I texted her and I was like, where are you at? I was, it was pretty rated R up in that conversation. I was being really rude because I was so mad. Like I really wanted to fight her at that moment. She didn't text back and she ended up screenshotting it. And that's pretty much what happened with those two girls. And mom goes up to the coaches because they were like all together. And my mom was talking about like, you didn't just see those two girls go up to my daughter and yell at her, blah, blah, blah. And then my coach was acting like he didn't see anything, of course. The city coach was just like trying to push it away. Like he was trying to like not talk to my mom like he was trying to do something else being so unprofessional about it you can tell they just really didn't care basically the varsity coach comes back and he goes up to my mom and he's just naming a whole bunch of stuff that's like wrong with me he was saying like a bunch of his players which i don't know why his players have anything to do with my with me or my team because his players are varsity players and i'm a jv player we don't we don't play games together we don't practice together i don't know why he was trying to like he was saying like his players were saying that i talked 
about everybody and I think I'm better than everybody else. I'm always being rude to the people on my team. Like, I'm the problem, basically. That's what he was saying. This is what made me so mad. He was saying, like, how when my team was all huddled up, like, talking or whatever, that I was sitting on the floor trying to, like, be away from my team, being negative, not being in team spirit. First of all, I was tired. Second of all, literally everybody does that. Like, whenever, like, somebody's tired or they just want to sit down, like, I'm still listening to the conversation. So there, I'm still present. I'm just sitting down. Not that big of a deal. And he was trying to make that a big deal, acting like I'm the problem. Acting like that's the reason why my team, like, when my coach was, like, talking to us or whatever, he was saying, like, oh, stay on the team, I'll talk to the team, whatever, whatever. I was, like, recording the conversation. I think, like, I, I got a minute of, like, the conversation. But, like, I would always log on my phone, so whenever I'm done with the clips, I always delete them, and I accidentally deleted that clip. <sighs> now, I don't have, like, evidence or proof or receipts, but I still have, like, screenshots and stuff, so. I wish I would have kept that video. It would have really showed everybody's true colors. Whatever, that's like the last contact I had with any of my team members, any of my coaches, anybody. Just quit the team and I still have my uniform and everything because they never asked for it back. I like completely dismissed the fact that I was ever on that team because I left all the group chats and he like took me out of the group message and stuff. So also my nails are so cute. Um, like I still have all my uniforms and stuff so that's kind of their fault but... Also, I'm so dumb because the day I quit was the day before picture day. So I never got any soccer pictures, which wasn't that big of a deal, but like, <laughs> that was low-key my fault. But like, yeah, I don't have any soccer pictures, so it's good for me. And then they were having like winter sport banquets and stuff. I didn't go to any of them. I don't even know if they like called my name because like I said, they kind of dismissed the fact that I was ever on that team. That's the story of my soccer team and why it was toxic and why I left it because it was trash. <laughs> It's like the scum team of all the soccer teams like that is the end of the story time I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys want any more then be sure to let me know Thank you for watching I'm gonna put like all the, like the receipts and stuff I have in this video so that you can see that I'm not lying if you guys enjoyed this juicy story time And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye